Faye and we are gonna be cooking with Faye. So I am actually vegetarian. I've been vegetarian I think since February, which is a lot longer than I thought I've been vegetarian. But I'm also slowly transitioning into being plant-based, which is just another fancy word for vegan. One of my favorite things that I've made are my plant-based tacos. Now, I'm definitely not a professional chef, and I'm sure that most people watching this video aren't professional chefs either, so this is a perfect relationship we got going on. So, I'm gonna show you guys how you can make vegan tacos very easily, very hassle-free. I'm gonna show you guys the calorie breakdown of each thing, and all that jazz, and it's gonna be so yummy. I can't wait for you guys to see. Timestamps are in the description below for when the recipe starts. Now this is totally gonna sound like an ad, but I swear it's not an ad. It's just how I talk about things when I'm really excited about it. Beyond Meat does not sponsor me or anything like that. But Beyond Meat burger patties are literally the best veggie patties I've ever had ever. When I use this, I make literally the best vegan burger I've ever had. And I've had some pretty awful ones, but this is like the best burger even compared to normal burgers. And I think my fiance would agree with me on this. <laughs> He's filming and he nodded his head yes. And I thought to myself, why can't I use these for my taco meat? So that's what I did and it turned out just as good. First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You will need a Beyond Meat burger patty, which is 270 calories. I like to use six grape tomatoes as a topping, which um, amounts to six calories total. The taco shells are a total of 180 calories since this recipe makes three tacos. Taco seasoning mix, which is 10 calories. Some salsa, which is 20 calories. Taco sauce, which is 20 calories. Diet Cheese Classic Blend, which is 90 calories for 1 eighth of a cup. And finally, I like to use green onions, which are about 3 calories. Once the oven is preheated, put the taco shells in for 3 minutes. Then, put the stove to medium heat. Once the pan is warm enough, put your Beyond Meat patty and mash it up. Add one teaspoon of seasoning, mix it all up. Then add two tablespoons of taco sauce, mix it up. If you see any smoking, lower your heat to medium low. My three minutes is up for my taco shells, so I take them out to cool down. Next, I add two tablespoons of salsa and you guessed, mixed it up. <music> Lastly, I add one fourth a cup of diet cheese on top and wait for the cheese to melt. Diet cheese is so good when it's melted. On my tacos, I love grape tomatoes and green onions as toppings. Although <laughs> you can add whichever toppings you like. The cheese has melted, so I mix everything up and it's ready to go. I love using taco holder stands. It makes putting together tacos so easy. It's actually linked down in the bio below if you're interested in having one of your own. Now, the fun part, assembling the taco. For these three tacos, the calories are 599, or basically 200 calories per taco. It's super filling, super yummy, and cruelty free.
cooking with me guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope it's really yummy for you as it is for me. And like I said in the video, you can add the toppings you like. I'm weird and I like two tomatoes and some green onions. <laughs> Alright guys, have a good rest of your day. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and bye!